Hello everyone, today we are going to make an fermented kimchi. To be honest, this is the first time I'm trying any Korean cuisine uh, recipes and this one one of them. So please don't mind any rookie mistakes that I've made in this recipe. So I got the half of Chinese cabbage and I cut it into halves then I sp sprinkled some salt between the layers you can see that the struggle is real but i can i learned later that actually for this recipe you are supposed to put water and salt in it then after that you put the cabbage inside not between the layer because this one is the unfermented version of the kimchi but what to say it's a rookie mistake and we all start from somewhere so you can see that i put salt between all the layers then after that I let it set for one hour I cover it and let it set for at least one hour it was more than that but I just put it there now let's move to the sauce I got these pears for the sake of this recipe I've never tasted before I've never used it before but it has a very sour tangy flavor it was not sweet so um, I'm not sure whether it's supposed to taste this way or only the, the piece that I bought <laughs> so I removed the seeds like the inner side of the, the pears and then after that I just grate it finely I added chili powder sugar, garlic powder, sesame seeds, uh, sesame oil, not sesame seeds, and chili flakes, and as well as pears. Mix everything very well. Actually, you have to taste it here. Then I added the garlic. The garlic actually, I think that the garlic amount that I put in this recipe was a little but that recipe require more garlic but what can we say it's the first time that we try this so it's fine it's all part of the learning curve I put sesame seeds now make sure that it's roasted so it will leave it good flavor you can see the water that I have excess water actually I squeeze everything and I cut it in this stage that's the moment when I, what I learned that this is the correct way actually to do it not the rice versa then uh, I washed all the Chinese cabbage very well make sure to wash it very well and even if you're required to wash it more than once please do do so and then after that I added to the sauce add chives and onion uh, green onion as well to the mix make sure to massage it by your hand because it will make the flavor combines and actually you make that make sure that the flavors are like come into the cabbage <laughs> I kept massaging everything all together very well for a couple of minutes and then after that I added more sugar and also some sesame oil and something like uh, more like chili flakes and other stuff the same part of the uh, of the sauce component but I just added a little more for more flavor please let me know how I did because I really want to know <laughs> I store it in containers in, in glass containers and I kept it in the fridge and I kept it for an hour and I tasted and it was amazing I hope you've enjoyed this video as much as I enjoy making it thank you so much for watching and have a lovely day don't forget to like and subscribe